Welcome back, Daybreakers. Your time now is 7.15, and we have some special guests joining us here on 13 News Now Plus. From the American Heart Association, we have Executive Director Michelle Simmons and Board Chair and Cardiologist Dr. Dina Krishnan joining us to tell us more about our cholesterol and why it matters. So thank you both for being here this morning. I know we've seen each other at the heart walks over the last few years, talking about a lot when it comes to our heart health. Cholesterol plays a big part in that. So first, the question should be, what is cholesterol? We say it all the time, but what actually is it? Yeah, I can take that one. Um, cholesterol is a waxy, fatty-like substance that's in our body that is used for bodily functions. It's used to make vitamins and key hormones. So it's an important part of our body that needs to be there, but in high amounts can be really dangerous. So, you know, usually when I hear cholesterol, it's always associated with high cholesterol. I always think about it in the bad form. Mm -hmm. Are there good forms of cholesterol? Yeah, absolutely, and are very protective for the heart. Um, and there are foods that we know that are kind of the healthy fats. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are familiar with that. And then fried foods um, that oftentimes contain unhealthy fats. But cholesterol is produced by the body, and then you also get cholesterol that comes into the body. So why is it so important for us to be on top of the type of cholesterol that we bring into our body, and particularly its impact on the heart? Yeah. Um, so there are, like you mentioned, kind of good fat and bad fat. But when we get our numbers, you get a, a couple different numbers. And it's really like a nice window into what's going on in the body. Um, it tells us a lot, not just about fat, but even something called your triglycerides actually give you a sense if you are actually becoming pre-diabetic. It's linked to blood sugars and carbohydrates. So you get a really nice picture of kind of where your health status mm. is at but um, actually can even show um, that some people are genetically predisposed mm. to having some problems. Now, Michelle, I'll ask you this. I mean, the American Heart Association, you all do so much work. And what are some of the things that you're doing maybe outside of, you know, joining us here on the morning shows, right? <laughs> yeah. To try to get this information out to people and how can people even find you and get that info? Yeah, we're really trying to simplify it and cholesterol can seem overwhelming and so, really wanting people to feel empowered to know their numbers. Just like we mm. talk about blood pressure, we want this to be a common conversation mm. as well. What we're noticing, the community trend, is that 60% of um, people that have high blood pressure also have high cholesterol, don't recognize it or know about it. Again, another one of those silent killers. And so being empowered to know your numbers, what is your cholesterol? What are the risk factors associated? What's your individual or you know risk factors for that? And so I think that's really the biggest piece and the first step is being empowered to know what your numbers. You don't need to know everything about cholesterol. You're not the cardiologist, <laughs> but, but what are your numbers? You know, it's interesting. I think about some of my earlier conversations about this in my family. Mm -hmm. A lot of it comes after people are diagnosed with higher cholesterol and it links back to, listen, we love to eat in the South where I'm from, Louisiana. <laughs> uh, you talked about some of the foods. What are ways maybe that families can have those conversations if say they love to have those great meals, but you, you need to maybe start thinking about your health at the same time? We've been recently focused on something that the American Heart Association calls Life's Essential Eight. And so those are really like eight key metrics that we feel individuals need to be focused on for overall wellness. And so there are things like sleeping better, uh, eating better, being more active, not smoking, and then things like managing your blood pressure, managing weight, blood, managing uh, blood sugar. And so all of those things really feed into that overall cholesterol. But it's interesting that, you know, Dr. Krishnan brought up hereditary. That's a mm -hmm. factor that, you know, you can't change. You can't change necessarily your family history or predisposition. But those other things are things you really can focus on that are modifiable to help with that cholesterol. And I think the elephant in the room as well is, hey, in order for you to know where you are with your cholesterol, you need to see, <laughs> talk about it, and talk to a, a doctor and a medical ex, uh, professional as yeah. well. And I guess as we kind of wrap this up, um, what are any other tips that you would provide for people when it comes to managing their cholesterol? Or if you had one last thing that you absolutely want to make people to walk away from, what would it be? We were just talking about this. Um, when you want to know your risk, I think knowing your family history. And if you don't know your family history, you just have to go get checked out. You go for your yearly wellness check, and that's what your doctor can help you do is figure out your risk. Many people, 
they don't talk about it, like you said, at the family dinner table. They don't talk about their, their family history. And people should share. If, you're, if your mom had open heart surgery before the age of yeah. 40, that is very relevant to you. You should know that. And you all should be talking about it, not embarrass it and put it under the table. Well, I'm glad that you both came here to talk about it. We, we're out of time for this. I feel like this is a conversation we can continue to do. But hopefully people learn something from this and they can be healthier for it. So thank you both for being here. And uh, we look forward to more conversations as well. Thank you. Thank you.